The floor of the cranial fossa is best seen when the calvarium is removed. The horizontal plane of section of the calvarium will pass through the squamous part of frontal, greater wing of sphenoid, squamous part of temporal, and squamous part of the occipital bones. The floor of the cranium is demarcated into anterior, middle, and posterior fossae. The anterior fossa is closely related to the frontal lobe. The middle fossa lodges the pituitary gland, temporal lobe, and parietal lobe. The posterior fossa lodges the parietal and occipital lobes. Cranial nerves 1 to 12, as well as blood vessels, are transmitted through a number of foramina, which are well defined and named. The posterior cranial fossa is in continuity with the vertebral canal at the foramen magnum.